I had a scary session where I was so nervous. That was, I had a session with Puff Daddy and I had to do these backgrounds for something. I can't remember is exactly, but I made him get out the studio because <laughs> when I record, I usually don't like no one in there. So they can't, you know, tell me how I want to sound, but I literally was like, y'all yeah, have to leave the studio. And it was scary for me, but he, he honored it and I did what I had to do. Um, and then also another one that was kind of, I did a, um, a song for, um, what's the, it was a show that, um, when I need a man, I think it was like a soundtrack for the Kojak, um, series on, on TV. I did that and that was ner not nerve wracking, but scary. Like I was like, I, I don't know what I'm going to sound like on TV, you know, singing the, the song of the show. But I, I was a little afraid, but it, it worked out. Well, my special moment with Aaliyah, and I love her, and I think just to clear everything, because people don't realize that we've only met twice. Aaliyah and I only met twice, maybe three times. One time in the studio when Missy was recording, uh, where you've been, I think, one of those records with her, or another record she did, and I sung a little bit of background on Aaliyah's record. And then... The last time I saw her was at her album release party in L.A. And it was like we had known each other forever. We had such a good time. And I, um, and she was just such a sweet person. Her spirit was just so gentle and nice. And it was just like a, a angel. You know what I mean? So it was amazing to have had that moment, those couple of moments, few moments with her, because I'll cherish them forever. Yeah, she was amazing. Just that little time that I had with her. Yeah, it was. She was amazing. Yeah, she was. It was. She was definitely a light, an angel on earth for sure. A wild tour story for me. It's a funny story. Um, I was in Detroit uh, on the. I had a stop. Uh, I was on a Mary J. Blige tour at that time, and we were outside um, we, um, performing and stuff. And I was just so tired and not knowing what city I was in because we were on this <laughs> this long tour and you know how you say what's up and i think the snickers um bar commercial did this and i was like what's up chicago and i was in detroit the whole crowd was like boo <laughs> they booed me they they held up the detroit uh jerseys and everything and i i was just i'm just so um funny or what i don't know if you call it i was like okay 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 I'm sorry, y'all. I've been I've been on tour. I don't know what city I'm in tonight. I'm so sorry, you know. And they, I won them back over. They was cool, but I did that Snickers commercial, and I was in Detroit, and I said, "What's up, Chicago?" And so that's my wild, funny tour story. <laughs> the special moment for me traveling um, overseas or abroad was just knowing that they love music so much over there. It's a different type of love over there. It's like they love it so much they don't want to let it go it's such a, a support over there and they might can't c cannot speak our language but they can sing our songs and that's amazing to me you know what i mean to hear them singing but they can't communicate you know but the music is is the thing that brings us together and they can sing the records it's amazing to see and to hear <laughs>